Good morning, students. Uh, this is Mr. Moibi, the your economic teacher. This after, this morning, we'll be looking at uh, money. But before I proceed, I would like to share the lesson objective with you. Uh, at the end of the lesson, students should be able to define money, explain the qualities of money, state and describe the functions of money, and uh, describe butter trade and its uh, problems. So uh, then let us look at the meaning of money. Money can be defined as a commodity that is generally or universally acceptable as a mean, as a payment for goods and services or settlement of them. So money uh, is something that uh, uh, must be generally acceptable in the country. Uh, we need to, uh, uh, there's need for us to accept the money and that money uh, will serve as uh, for the payment of goods and services and we can also use money for the settlement of debts. Uh, money can also be defined as a medium of exchange. Uh, we, use, we use money for the exchange of goods and services and uh, settlement of uh, debts. Uh, money is also defined as anything that's generally acceptable as a means of payment or store of value. So that means in that definition, I've given three good definition of money. So out of the three, you pick the one that you can be able to uh, uh, that you can be able to remember. So let us look at the qualities of money. Uh, the first one, one of the qualities of money, the first one is general acceptability. Money must be gener generally acceptable by the society. Everybody in the society should be able to accept whatever any currency they are using that particular country or community. And the money will also serve as a means of exchange. Uh, this shows the confidence that people have in the money. So I believe that uh, the currency they are using in Ghana, by the time they uh, spend it in this country, they will, even the traders and people that are living in this country they will not accept. Except by the time they uh, exchange that, uh, the currency they are using in Ghana, that is CDs, they exchange it to the, the currency they are using in India, that is a Naira. Uh, people are compared, people are forced by all the country to accept that currency. So the one that we are using in this country, uh, there is need for everybody to, they are, the government compels us to accept it. So it's compulsory that we, there is need for us to accept the currency they are using in the country. That is Naira, and uh, uh, the one they are using in another country, they will, that one will be, uh, they, they will accept it in their country as well. Then number two, portability. Uh, the object of money must be something that, that can be easily carried about. So it, it should be something that they can be able to carry from one place to another. So it should be portable. Money is also considered the best material because it is easily transferable. So uh, you can transfer money from one place to another because it's portable. So uh, because it's portable. Another one is homogeneity or standardized unit. Uh, what what what's the meaning of homogeneity? That the money must be the same, it must have the same shape, it must have the same size, uh, and as well as uh, qualities. So when you look at the money, money must have the same size. It must have the same shape. It must have the same size. Uh, it must have the same quality. Uh, 100 naira is 100 naira. 200 naira is 200. 500 naira is 500 naira. So when you look at it, you see that uh, they have the same size. They have the same shape. They have the same quality. And each denomination of money of the of the country's currency should be homogeneous. Should be the same. Each unit of the commodity used as money must be identical. It must be the same thing with others. And the fourth one is uh, durability, or you can call it cheap maintain maintenance. The object that serves as money must be able to last long. 
It must be able to last long, durable. Money must be able to serve for, for more than years to come. So must be able to last, uh, last long, for last long for a number of period of time. And, and also storable without losing its values. So money must be storable without losing its values. Uh, then it should be uh, it should be capable of being kept for a long period of time. We should be able to keep money for a no, uh, for a period of time. Then money should be uh, should also be cheap to maintain. So uh, that is the uh, uh, qualities of uh, money. Uh, then we also have storability. Storability money should be something that can be stored for a long period of time without losing its values. So we should be able to store money for in uh, a number of period of time. Another important feature of money is uh, we have after the uh, storability. Uh, paper money has this quality of storability. So you cannot talk about coins for storability. I believe that one is a meta. So it's not storable. Uh, the value of money should not depreciate with time. The value of money, but as time goes on, the value of money will continue will depreciate. Then, lastly, we have relative scarcity. Money should be uh, relatively scarce so that it will not lose value. So, uh, money is something that uh, uh, should be sca uh, scarce in the country. Uh, the, the commodity which serves as money must be relatively, relatively limited uh, to be something that uh, they are uh, uh, scarce. On the other hand, money must, be not, must not be too scarce to be used in the exchange for commodity. So, so money should not be something that will be too scarce, so it should not be something that will be too limited to see so that uh, people in the country can be, can use it in exchange of uh, goods and services. So let us look at the functions of money. Functions of money. Uh, one of the functions of money is uh, median of uh, uh, money perform the following functions. One, median of exchange. Money is generally acceptable by the people in exchange for goods and services. Uh, that is general ability. So money is something that we uh, people in the country must accept. They accept it for the purpose of what? For the purpose of uh, exchanging that money for goods. In the early days, we used barter system. We are still coming to barter system. That is exchange of goods for goods. So when we get to the barter system, I will tell you more details on that. So money can be used for to buy different varieties of goods and services. Money is very useful. To this time, we can use to buy different types of things in the market. This facilitates the means of payment. Uh, money came into use as a result of the problem of the butter system. So as a, as a result of butter system, then money came into existence. So another, uh, the second one is standard of deferred payment. Money acts as a standard of default or postponed payment. Yes. Uh, money can serve as a medium by which business transaction, transaction or credit. So uh, in business, uh, in business, credit is also allowed. And that will be paid in the future, or it can be settled in the future. Uh, if you look, if, uh, if we can flash back, uh, by the time I defined money, I said money is anything that uh, that can serve as uh, as a payment of goods and services and settlement of debt. The settlement of debt, uh, settlement of debt at a later date, as a later date is very or is known as deferred payment. So uh, that is a deferred payment. That means money can be settled. Uh, the credit can be set at a later date. Then another function of money is unit of account. 
record of payment and receipt can be conveniently kept in monetary unit. So for any any business that we uh, we uh, any transaction that uh, we participate, we should be able to have a record for them. And that record, uh, the rec uh, record of business transaction can be easily kept by assigning prices to goods and services. And uh, calculation are easier since they are in, in the same monetary unit. So uh, the unit of, of account is, unit of, of account is talking about records of payment and receipt. There is need for all us if you are doing business to record whatever any payment and any receipt uh, during the transaction or business activities. Then store of value. Money is a good store of value because wealth cannot be stored, stored for future use. Money is a uh, simply mean uh, more, the wealth cannot be stored for future use. Uh, this store of value is very is easier. It's easier and most convenient means of storing surplus goods or wealth for future use. It will serve this function effectively, provided inflation is minimal. When we are talking about inflation, that is persistent or continuous increase in the prices of goods and uh, services. Uh, lastly, we have the mayor of value. Money as a mayor of value helps in determining the value of money and services in the community. So the mayor of value can help us to determine how the value of goods is or services is in the economy. So that is it. Let us look at the butter trade. Butter trade can be defined, or you can, butter trade, you can call it butter system, uh, can be defined as a direct exchange of goods for some quantity of another goods without the use of money. This is what our forefathers used in the olden days. They used this butter system, or you can call it butter trade, uh, exchange of goods for goods. If you have goods, let's say Mr. A is having yam, can look for somebody that has what? Pepper. If you need pepper or palm oil to, uh, I mean, to make use of uh, boots, uh, so, uh, there is a direct exchange of good for uh, for some quantity of another good without using of money. A better community is an economy in which exchange is done without the use of money. So, uh, the better system, we can make use of it. Uh, the better system is good when we are uh, without using of money. So, exchange of goods for another goods. So, then let us look at the problems of barter system. Barter system has the following uh, difficulties or the following problems. I uh, want the first one is double coincidence of ones. Double coincidence of ones. Trade by barter involves double coincidence of one. That means a producer needs to find someone who asks what he wants and what he asks or produces. I've told you, uh, maybe, maybe I'm producing yam. I need to look for someone that is producing pepper because I may not be able to uh, uh, consume yam alone. I have to look for someone that has yam, uh, that has uh, palm, oil or palm oil or pepper. That is what they are doing in the early day. But this uh, the world continues to develop uh, and the money has replaced this butter tree. Then, another one is problem of rates of exchange. There was no unit of exchange or common standard of value. So there was no problem of adequate valuation of goods to be exchanged. So this is not common because there is no unit of exchange in the early days. So, and that's one of the problems of butter system or other system. So uh, problems of indivisibility. A problem arose when the owner of a large indivisible commodity wanted to exchange his good to someone that has more items. I have like five yams and I'm looking for someone that will give me the 
just little pepper. Can you see that the five yams I'm having is more than that small pepper that I want to collect. So that is problems of uh, indivisibility. So, uh, <laughs> so people find it difficult in the early days. I'm giving five yams to my uh, to someone, and that my that person is also giving you just a small pepper. So, uh, which is uh, that is the problem of uh, indivisibility. Then wasting your time and effort. Yes, it's just a waste of time and effort. You can go from one even to ten streets, or to the other community before you find someone that is your, what you are looking for. Before you can get someone that has it. So. But that system leads to waste of time and energy because one has to look for somebody to exchange the good with. So you have to look for someone that you want to exchange good with before, okay, what of somebody that has clothes and doesn't have shoes? So, and you want to exchange with that one. So you have to look for, look for someone that has essence of it before you can exchange for that uh, Particular, uh, before you can exchange for that uh, uh, goods. So, no room for deferred payment. There's no room for you to pay credit transaction at a later uh, future. So, it is not allowed. But that system discourage, discourages deferred payment. There's nothing like a, uh, getting goods on credit and you pay at a later date. No, 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 no. It is, no that means credit transaction is not allowed. One cannot collect certain goods and look to pay uh, to pay in another day. So that means butter uh, butter requires immediate settlement. So it requires immediate settlement. If we have good now, look for someone that have what you are looking for, and you exchange it at that uh, particular time. So it is not allowed to look for someone that uh, what you are uh, that what you want at that point in time. So it is not allowed in butter system. And lastly, butter system discourages borrowing and lending. So borrowing and lending, you want to borrow and you want to uh, give us something to someone. It is not allowed. Lending is not allowed and borrowing is not allowed. Under the trade by butter, it is not allowed and, it, and it's impossible because no standard of unit to measure this. So. Uh, this is the conclusion of the topic, money, where we also have butter system as a topic under it. Uh, my students, once again, money is, uh, is uh, the quantity of, uh, 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 the, is, is, is the quantity of, uh, I mean, is the unit of, uh, uh, I mean, the, for the segment of debt, and, uh, and payment of goods and services. So that is money, uh, which is developed on demand for money. So uh, by next time, uh, before I leave here, I would like you to refer you to the, uh, the lesson notes. You can get that in the school website. Go to the lesson notes. Uh, you see more assignment there. I've given you the assignment there. And if you want to, if you need more, uh, uh, then you go to this textbook, uh, Essential of uh, Economics by uh, Ezra Coles. So uh, you can find, in case if you are finding this uh, assignment difficult, or you can contact me if you cannot be able to do it, then I will be able to provide a reasonable answer to you. So see you next time. Stay away from this uh, uh, pandemic disease. Uh, stay away and keep yourself safe. God will be with each and every one of us. See you next time. Uh, this is Mr. Maybe once again.